What is going on, everybody? Home stretch, our final season. Quick reminder, please do hit that like button. We are going to hop right in here, and I'm actually going to be ambitious here. I'm going to get through the whole season in this final episode. Views are down a little bit here as we enter our final season. Not a whole lot of work left to do on this team anyway, so just going to do our pledges against the divisions, comb through the season, and hell, if we manage to miss the playoffs, this will be our final episode. But this team has come too far to miss the playoffs this year. So here we go. Taking on the Colts. And a final reminder that I will be doing a stream of the next two seasons. Jacoby Brissett got Omaha, by the way, getting X Factor after winning MVP. But yeah, I will be doing a stream of two more seasons after this. So follow me at TFG Plays on Twitter. And make sure you turn on notifications because I'll do a post here on YouTube about when that's going to be. But that's going to be a blast. So this isn't it completely. And I will upload that here when it's all done as well. It just won't be edited. So the Colts, always so tough for us. They are driving right away. We do hold them to a field goal, which is nice. Third down, driving. There we go. Red zone alert. There we go. Oh, Looks like we're probably going to stall. But we're up seven. Defense needs help. Keep them out of the end zone. Uh, let's let's hold on to these moments. Ooh, they came away with a stop completely. Defense needs help again. Make the stop. All right, tie game. Third down. We're driving. We're driving. Red zone alert. Here we go. Our first playage here. Right before the two-minute warning. Or under the two-minute warning, rather. I think I'm actually going to turn on two clock because we don't want them to get the ball back. So DJ Chark, like we said, did go up to Superstar. He gets post-flag elite. Oh, man, that guy. Bradley and Nye just blew up the edge. Good man coverage there by the Colts. All right, it's going to be tough. We got uh, rookie Alexander out there. Maybe he can win on a out route. Blitz is coming. Bryant. Wow, what a dumb call. Terrible call by the defense. They didn't even cover the tight end. But we'll take it. Slam it into the ground. Harrison Bryant's first touchdown of the season. We're driving again. Things are looking good. We missed the field goal, though. What are we paying you for, Josh Lambeau? We get the ball back again. This defense is off to a hell of a start. Lambeau gets it to a two-score game that time. All right, 20 to 17. We got a red zone look. Adrian Killen's in there. Blitz is coming. Good release to Jay Sharp. Great day for Minshew. Great day for the defense. So, by the way, as far as the depth chart's concerned, I did make Alexander, our big six foot five speedster rookie, one of the two starting wide receivers. Good run. Killins, good run. And then I went with DD Westbrook as the starting slot. I know to Jay Sharp has really produced for us, so we'll kind of let that play out but in the past Westbrook's been our number two on the outside it's not like Westbrook's been bad for us so Sharp obviously is still going to play quite a bit as that fourth wide receiver the second guy as the slot in our depth chart what was that the linebacker was in a three-point stance never seen that unless my eyes were deceiving me Colts go score that's Jacoby Brissett in a nutshell but we get the uh Potential game-winning drive here. Probably should have let that clock run a little more. Go Killins. Big day for Adrian Killins. 10 carries, 49 yards. A lot of people thought he was the reason we did not make the playoffs last year. Or uh, did not make the Super Bowl last year. Let this go to the two-minute warning here. Bit of a hot take, but uh, he, he is a big factor for us, that's for sure. So one first down will do it, but we got to be careful. We know Jacoby Brissett and these Colts can score in a heartbeat. Might have to pass for the first down here. Feels like a blitz. I'm going to put Alexander, our rookie, on a slant. Here it comes. 
Just end it. Alexander. What a day for the offense. Get the rookie involved. <laughs> the Colts go down and score, but that's why we needed to chew that clock <laughs> or score. All right, Kevin Stefanski gets a big opening season opener win, I should say, against the Colts. Gardner Minshew, superstar X Factor this year, player of the game, possibly the two of the best quarterbacks in the NFL, Jacoby Brissett and Gardner Minshew at this point. So Killens actually outproduced Nick Chubb in the run game. Look at the rookie in his debut, Jaden Alexander. Tajay Sharp is the fourth man on the depth chart had a hell of a day in the simulation. You just can't keep him down no matter where you put him. Harrison Bryant, two touchdowns. What a day for the offense. Defensively, Miles Jack, reigning defensive player of the year. We get a pick from Miles Jack as well, so he's off to a hot start. Ajalari had a sack. Well, you can't have a much more exciting start than that. And he gets an upgrade. He's going to get that next ability. Oh. <laughs> What did he get? Pick artist, tip drill, reinforcement, coverage specialist. All right, and it's the Texans next week. Minshew picks up offensive player of the week. And here we go against the Texans. J.J. Watt's still kicking here five years in. And the Texans drive, get a touchdown early, but Gardner Minshew answers. God, this offense is just rolling. Third and four, let's skip this. They drive, they get a field goal. We're driving again, another field goal. Lambo's making them this week. This is the London opener, by the way. Just keep on going, boys. Red zone alert. God, this offense, this defense, this team. This might be the most dominant team we have built. Gonna be cognizant of the clock here. Cognizant of the fact that this could very well be a blitz. Um, because of that, I'm going to keep Bryant into block, and I'm going to run Alexander on a slant. Here comes the blitz. Alexander. What a start to the season for the rookie, for Gardner Minshew. Chark. Way to reach out and pluck it. Use that height to your advantage. His first receiving touchdown of the season, a 27-point first half. Texans are rallying back, though. Uh-oh. All right, here we go. Red zone look. Third and two. I am just going to run this because potentially four down territory here. Ooh, we get the face mask on top of a good run. Probably would like to have Chubb in on those plays right there. Let's run it. Good block. Come on, Chubb. Tajay Sharp. God, he just shows up. You just can't keep him down. I can't believe how big he's been for us. When we picked him up, I had no idea he'd be as good as he's been. So, this one's pretty much in control at this point. We might as well play this last red zone look. Second and two. If that safety blitzes, we're going to throw that slant. No blitz. Oh, jeez. What a quick sack off the edge. Probably should have just ran it. I think we should just play this one safe. Third and six. Might even get the first down. Good blocking. Pretty quiet start to the season for Chubb. It's really been the passing game that's been dominating. Oh, a face mask. I mean, they're probably not even going to call their timeouts. We're probably just wasting our time at this point. Let's just keep moving. We know how this ends. Game over. New coach there in Houston. Probably a fictional guy. So Minshew, almost 300 yards, three touchdowns. Did throw a pick today. Run game a little more quiet. 
receivers. God, Jaden Alexander's off to a hell of a start. I mean, we were hoping he could be eventually our number one wide receiver, but he's been that immediately from day one. Uh, so that that's pretty incredible. Defensively, our rookie Jawan Mebane, who is starting this year, gets a sack. Miles Jack, it's his second interception of the season. He's uh, only gets two tackles this week, but he's trying to repeat as Defensive Player of the Year. And that reminds me, we can change our focus player next week now that Miles Jack reached the 90 overall mark. Lots of upgrades. Minshew gets four break sack, and he now maybe would be worth doing a focus player because he's going to get abilities. Jermaine Waller, a big upgrade there. Good one for Jawan Taylor, who's slowly improving. Good one for Jawan Meebane after he had his first sack of his career, I'm pretty sure. And we'll just automate those guys. All right, 2-0. We've scored 34 points in the first two games of the season. Minshew aiming for that MVP year. So I think we will focus on uh, Gardner Minshew now. Pretty crazy how far he's come. So we do have negotiations this year. Miles Jack, Allen, Taven Bryan, Winfield, ouch. Lots of guys to deal with. Oof, that hurts. Uh, but Miles Jack is no question. Now we do have $92 million in cap space, so that's definitely pretty good. Jack wants a four year deal. He's a defensive player of the year. He's not gonna regress in the course of this contract. That's a no brainer. About 13 million for a star linebacker. It's steep, but he does everything for us. And Josh Allen as well, no brainer to bring him back. He wants about $15 million. Sorry, my math sucks. That's actually $16 million, $17 million, $18 million. But locking those guys up for sure. Those are integral parts of this team. Even though Allen hasn't produced up to it, it's kind of like the whole uh, Daniil Hunter thing. You pay the freak athlete, let him keep developing, and he is probably going to get that superstar here pretty soon. Uh, sorry, that second uh, superstar trait is what I meant. So the 0-2 Bucks, we got to go on the road, hoping for a win here, hoping to keep this thing rolling. Ooh, the offense vanished into thin air. We lose 6-21. to Yikes, what happened there? Minshew, stunted by the vaunting Bucks defense, apparently. Just nothing to really speak of offensively. Miles Jack shows up with 14 tackles. Aziz Ajalari, two sacks. He's having a good start to his season. Jaden Alexander in his first upgrade as a Jaguar gets a speed boost in two deep routes. So he's up to 96 speed. Jeez. All right, a rematch of the wildcard round from last year, taking on the Titans. Hoping to rinse out a kind of disgusting loss from last week. Heading into the bye next week would be nice to not lose and go to 2-2. Two and two. Let's keep this momentum going, especially in the division like this. Red zone alert right away. Let's take over. Going with the clean cut white and black jerseys this week. Okay, it's second and eight. Oh, good push. Good push. Oh, what a run by Chubb. <laughs> Let's go hurry up before they can get their big guys out there. Oh my gosh, Chubb. Oh my god. How is that a four yard or a three yard loss? There's no way that was a three yard loss. Yikes, I wanted that low and inside. He threw it low and outside. Ugh, are we not gonna score here? We are. Tajay Sharp. Smacks Kevin Byard in the back. <laughs> All right, good opening drive for a touchdown. We're driving again. We come away empty-handed. Moving on along. Defense is showing up this week. Let's, uh, let's keep this score down. Let's play a little defense here in the red zone. Why not? We don't play, a, we don't play enough D. Screen. Miles Jack, get there. Oh, oh no, not a face mask. Come on, Taven. Your contract's up this week. You want to get paid? 
Dierra King is starting here for the Titans. It's been uh, Teddy Bridgewater recently. Get him, get him, get him. Oh my goodness, he's fast. Yikes. All right, moving on ahead. Red zone alert, take advantage. Um, we've played two already, let's trust it. Good job, Jags. We wanna save that full drive for later if we need it, but team's taking control, might not even need us. Red zone alert, let's, uh, let's finish this game off right here, first and goal. Oh, thought I might be able to sneak that in there, but definitely not. Really good day for Minshew. Good bounce back week. I'd love to see it after whatever you, the hell you want to call it he what did last week was. All right, they're in like a quarters front, so we're just going to maul them. God, Chubb is fighting for some damn tough yardage. We're going to go hurry up for sure because they are in just the most tiny formation. Of course. Adoree Jackson, lined up as a defensive end, comes in and makes a tackle for loss. Because Madden. They put a bunch of off-ball linebackers and cornerbacks on the defensive line, and we can't block them. Anyway, that's this game. <laughs> Expect us to take care of business here. We give up a touchdown at the end. Tennessee tried to make it interesting, but we advanced to 3-1. and one. We've got the bye this week. What a week for Gardner Minshew. Three touchdowns, no picks, 300 yards, putting up that MVP case. Offense was fine. Jaden Alexander showed up, which you like to see. Trying to make a little offensive rookie of the year case. Taven Bryan got a sack this week. Ajalari had a, a sack, so he's up to four. And then Caleb Farley. Our number one corner gets a pick, as does Telvin Smith. Josh Allen gets this upgrade here right after getting that big contract extension. He's got to start playing like it, though. He doesn't have a sack yet this year. We're, we're paying him in good faith that he's going to show up. So we'll advance to the bye week. We'll look at our renegotiations. We got the Colts again week six, just loaded with division games early on in the schedule here. So Taven Bryan's asking for two years, 15 and a half mil. That's actually pretty close. You know, he made a Pro Bowl last year, but he hasn't been some insane elite player. So I think that's perfectly fair for him. And then Antoine Winfield has been a good player for us. I think he probably would get more than this. I'm thinking three years, about five and a half is probably fair for the production he's put up. He hasn't like made any Pro Bowls or done anything crazy. He's just been steady. Harrison Bryant, he's up. God, we got to pay all these guys. Good good to do this during the bye week. Now, he has been a borderline superstar tight end for us. We are going to bump this up quite a bit. We are going to pay him over $10 million. Trying to keep this as realistic as possible, as we always do. So he's obviously happy with that. We're going to pay him north of $10 million a year. Good to get those guys in. And we actually still have plenty of cap space. And we've paid Gardner Minshew, so... That's nice. We do have some big contracts still to come, though, with guys like Isaiah Simmons and Andrew Thomas, who are superstars. So on to next week against the Colts. Then we have the Titans Week 7. Our whole freaking season's going to be done in the first seven weeks. Colts are having a rough year, rough go of it this year after Jacoby winning that MVP. They went to the Super Bowl last year, lost to the Cardinals, I'm pretty sure. So a little bit of a Super Bowl hangover. So let's try and bury them while they're down. Don't want this team to heat up. All right, we're driving. Red zone alert. Put it in. Oh, don't kick the field goal on the one yard line. They kicked it. There's a touchdown. Colts answer back finally. Two minute drill, here we go. Doesn't count as a full drive. Minute 40 to go, clock is somehow running. Because that makes sense. Nice catch, Brian. Oh, he dropped it. Absolutely adding that to the... Uh, ooh, he breathed on me. Highlight reel for Madden 20. Timeout. 
probably just going to hit Westbrook if that linebacker doesn't shift all the way over. Can we make that a smart route? Make sure you get the sticks. Good job. Let's go hurry up. I'm out. Kind of accidentally called the same play there. Well, this looks like a blitz. Let's send Taven Bryan up the seam. Sending it. Go get it. Oh, God. Add that one to the highlight reel. Six foot five, but why would he win a jump ball ever? Ball's in his hands, but he gets touched and he gets popped up in the air. It's my least favorite thing about Madden. All right, so we go, score. Still got two opportunities to make our impact in this game here in the fourth quarter. Red zone alert. My gut's telling me to actually trust this, and that seems like it pays off. All right, nice. Defense needs help. Let's play this one. Second and one. Oh, <laughs> God, the reaction time for Miles Jack there. His ability to react to the football is nuts. He's reached like Bobby Wagner levels of dominance. Oh. Thought it was gonna switch to Isaiah Simmons who was trailing, not that guy, whoops. Oh, that wasn't a touchdown though, all right. Nice, oh, fumble! Simmons gets it. <laughs> Let's go. Who forced that? Was that Telvin Smith? I think it was. Big end of game drive. Let's let's do it. Let's let's put this thing away. Ugh. We set up. That play is just so hit or miss. Probably a really bad time to call that, but it is what it is. We'll let this clock run. Snap it right before the two minute. So I'm going to try to pass for it. Get the speed on the drag here. Should work. Nice. Huge play. One more first down will do it. Nine receptions, 134 yards. What an ad he has been. Not just a deep threat. He has been the all-around number one wide receiver that we've been looking for. Should we feed him again? Not sure what the hell I was looking at there. Getting greedy. Getting lazy, too. Really bad. Everything about that play was just bad. Let's see if we can get it with the run here. We are in field goal range, which should should put it away regardless, but that run's going to do it. So an up and down game for Gardner. He threw two picks, but 300 yards again. A I keep trying to say Adonis Alexander. It's Jaden Alexander. Harrison Bryant rewarding us. I feel like that happens a lot. We give these guys contract extensions and they pay us back tenfold. So offense continues to roll defensively. But Taven Bryant rewards us with a sack after getting uh, paid. Josh Allen gets his first sack of the season. Aziz Ajalari, I think that's five for him. Jordan Lewis gets a pick. So the team is just producing this year straight up. And Isaiah Simmons is going to get his second ability. Oh my god, what an upgrade. Jeez. So what did he get? Reach Elite and Pick Artist. Harrison Bryant gets a hell of an upgrade after getting paid. Love to see that. Caleb Farley, two more zone coverage. He's up to 85 zone. Almost want to work on his man at this point. He's not getting much press. And I'm not talking about media coverage. Tyrone Scott, he's just kind of buried between an incredible wide receiver room. So we're four and one. We got the Titans next week, another divisional game. DJ Chark is frustrated while <laughs> Alexander is breaking out. Talk about a narrative right there. You got the rookie wide receiver trying to go up to superstar in his rookie year. And the guy that was kind of put to the back burner because of it is frustrated. I can't make any promises, DJ Chark. I would love to get you more in, more involved this week, but we got other priorities. So we need 150 yards or, what was it, three touchdowns? 
Not going to be easy. But luckily enough, we get to play this week. So we got an epic storyline and what has honestly turned out to be one of the more epic episodes of this entire series. This is fun. You guys having fun? Okay, defense needs help early. We're going to save these for offensive playages. Uh, red zone look. Do we play it to try to get Alexander a touchdown? Do we save it? Tough decisions. I'm going to skip it. They end up going field goal. Defense needs help. Red zone alert. Let's, let's play it this time. It's first and ten. Feels like a blitz. And it is. Yes, Alexander, there's one. God, he's a beast. Okay, we're uh, on defense. Now we're in the red zone again. Let's um, let's play this one and save our last moment, but we definitely want to make sure we get a, a touchdown to Alexander here. I'm actually going to line him up on the slot this play. And see if we get, that's not quite the look I was hoping for. Let's change it to slants. Looks like man coverage. Oh, but Shark was just wide open. Had to throw it. You can try to get certain guys involved, but Shark hopefully is happy with that play. We're driving again. Come on, throw it to Alexander. Let's, let's skip this. They go field goal. Actually, they didn't get anything there. We're driving again. 24 to 7, 24-14. Would love to get like a full drive later in this. Red zone, big field goal, we get it. They're going for it. They get a touchdown. Ooh, here we go. I actually hope they score here and then we can have a, an exciting drive at the end. Come on, Tennessee, let's go. This is what we wanted. Probably the best storyline that we've had for any single game. Now let's just check in on Alexander. See what we need to feed him. Jeez, Minshew's having a day. Hopefully he's feeding Alexander. Okay, he just needs 52 yards on this drive. That's doable. We're just gonna run it on first down. I'm gonna dial up like a play action shot for him. Just like that. Oh, is that 52? That's close. He needs a little more. 130 yards. I'm gonna throw him a screen here. Minshew's in the zone. I've never had this pro reads in the zone. Oh, we're gonna use lose yards there. So passing to get in field goal range or better. I'm gonna let this clock run just a little bit. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. All right, we got to focus on winning here. God, are they going to really give this to us here? Come on, Alexander. Go, go, go. Oh, my gosh. He's short, and he's not going to get the yardage he needs. He was, like, three yards away. Oh, my gosh. All right, hang on. We only need one yard. They have all their timeouts. A field... It, in a shootout, do we really want to give them the ball with a minute 40 left when all we need is a yard? If we don't get it, we can still come away with a stop and still get a chance. We've kind of already built up this aggressive approach. I think we go for it. And do we really have the guts to go for it like this? If I go slide right, do we put faith in Alexander to do this? Or Chark. <laughs> what a call. Great pass protection there. And there still might be a way to get Alexander what he needs. But 
I think I called this the jet zone fake. I want the jet sweep on this. Beautiful. Hopefully that gives it to him. A masterful job of prioritizing winning while also getting our guy what he needs. So hopefully we can pound this thing in now. Ooh. Not ideal there, but actually might not be for the worst because now we can just kind of center it and if we need to, we'll just kick the field goal. Chubb doesn't care about any field goals. So been a much more pass-heavy team this year, which makes sense. I mean, Minshew's a beast. We got a number one wide receiver now. Still got Shark. All right, let's kick this game winner and call a timeout with literally no time left. Two seconds. Kick is up, it's through, and the London Jaguars. Sorry, it's Jaguars. Again, stop doing British accents. Number one reason I never should have moved the team to London, bad British accents. So hoping Alexander gets it thanks to that jet sweep there at the end. Unbelievable day for Gardner Minshew. He's making a serious MVP case. 91% completion, 401 yards, three touchdowns, game-winning drive. Alexander gets 144 yards, a touchdown, and then had the rushing yards. So hoping that that's enough. Aziz Ajalari and his big breakout season, Josh Allen a sack. God, the production from this team is off the charts this season. Oh, they didn't count it. He needs the receiving yards. Oh, well. What about Shark? How do you feel? He's at least happy. That's all right. We'll still, uh, we'll still get plenty for Alexander at the end of the year. So we actually play the Texans in week 11. We're going to keep on going here. Obviously, no need for any um, trades. This team is loaded, rolling. we got a breakout this week. Ajalari, he has earned that. He's having a hell of a year. Unlikely he ends up getting it. Uh, no surprise, though. Gardner Minshew wins Offensive Player of the Week. And no surprise, Ajalari has a breakout after winning Defensive Player of the Week. So, God, this team is just rolling. We're having fun. We get the one and three Bengals this week, so Ajalari gets to uh, take on that offensive line, although Jonah Williams might be good at this point. So here we go. We're going to sim a couple weeks now, picking up our pace for sure. We win 38 to 35. The offense continues to kick ass. Ajalari didn't get it. Not a big surprise. Let's see how uh, the team performed in another shootout victory. Minshew just going absolutely off. Unreal. Run game a little quiet. Harrison Bryant playing well. Miles Jack, a bunch of tackles. No sacks, no picks. So all offense this week. All Gardner Minshew. Minshew wins another Offensive Player of the Week. So definitely making his MVP case to be sure. Taking a peek at our renegotiations, I think we're actually good. Um, we do have the wide receivers are up. Definitely want to sort that all out as the season goes on. Don't want to let all three go, but with Alexander coming in, obviously going to complicate that situation a little bit. Damian Lewis, we want to pay, but we can't negotiate him right now. So we're good for a few weeks as far as renegotiations go. We're going to advance against the 1 and 6 Steelers. Hoping to keep this thing rolling. We lose 28 to 14. The offense slowed down, so the Texans are 6 and 2. We play them next week in our last playage of the season. Let's see what happened. Minshew wasn't all that bad. Defense just kind of folded. The run game was non-existent. Meebane gets his second sack. Winfield Bond gets in. Um not sure if we had injuries or what's going on there, but he had four tackles and a pick in his kind of debut. A guy we've been developing, a converted college safety at nickel corner. Josh Allen, a breakout opportunity. That's kind of out of nowhere. So that's a superstar X-Factor breakout. I 
doubt he gets that. Three sacks. You never know, I suppose. But he's going up against a couple good tackles this week. We're going to advance against the Texans next week. Important win. Thanks, Taylor Bennett. 31 to 17. We'll take a peek at the results. And uh, yeah, Josh Allen, embarrassing performance. Yeah, start doing something. How, how does that sound? Huh? We just paid you $17 million. Minshew, another great week. It's Jake Fromm down there in New Orleans. Chubb a little better. He was frustrated last week. Alexander gets a touchdown. Defensively, we have a bunch of sacks. Two for Mebane, so that's four for him. Allen did have a sack and a half, so I mean, it wasn't an embarrassing performance. Uh, we get a pick from Caleb Farley. Team just continues to produce. DJ Chark going up. Taven Bryan going up. Gardner Minshew going up. He gets a new ability. He gets clutch. So he can enter the zone quicker. Adrian Killens going up. So here we go, our last big divisional game of the season. This would get us to eight wins on the year. The Texans did lose last week, so this would give us a two-game separation heading into the last portion of our season uh, against the, the rest of our season is non-divisional. So really great to see that EA has not caught on the fact that the NFL schedules pretty much all divisional games week 17, if not literally all divisional games, I think it is. So I'm not sure how our whole divisional schedule is done by week 10 or whatever it is, but is what it is. We do what we can. Thanks, EA. So they're asking for a stop. We're going to skip it. First quarter drive. Let's, let's do it. Let's play it. Let's go take the lead. This Texan corner's got some speed. Neither Alexander or Chark have huge speed advantages out there. Okay, get out of there. Let's take a shot. There is a catch. Woo! Love to see the big boy going up for it. Six foot five, using that height to win. Oh no. Not sure what the call is going to be here. Probably holding. Pass interference on. The defense. We will go ahead and decline that. Great coverage by uh, the corner there, but we end up getting the play off of it on the comeback. Might get another one-on-one -on -one opportunity with Alexander over there. Now let's just take this. Good job, Minshew. Good play. Pound it up in there. Oh, didn't follow the hole. Tried. That 58 makes plays for this team. Ugh. Good defense by the Texans here down by the goal line. Let's, let's not mess around here. Come on, guys. Yeah. Not a good look. Come on. What do we what do we got to call down here? I do like this. Sharp on a linebacker. Oh, come on. Minshew put it on him. I low pointed it. We're going to have to take the field goal here. So 3 nothing. Defense playing well early after they've kind of been struggling lately. We're driving. Red zone alert. Let's skip it. Good job, offense. Red zone alert, puts it in again. Good job, team. Two minute drill, let's do it. Go up, uh, could potentially go up four scores if we wanted to, if we went for two. Might think about that. Take a 25 nothing lead in halftime? Doesn't sound so bad. Ooh. Jerry Tillery coming alive here in Houston. Blitz. <laughs> I wanted him to pitch it out to Killens. It would have been a touchdown if, if he uh, pitched it to the right. Killens was there. If you guys are wondering what the hell I was doing, this is what I was trying to do. I knew he was there. He wasn't on the screen. But Bryant went the wrong way with it. So can't tell me I'm an idiot for that one. That was a pretty clear decision there. That would have been an easy touchdown. just didn't work out. 
Okay, third and long. I'm gonna go with uh, a little more conservative screen call here. Could still work out though. Bit of a flop. Can't win them all. Still made him use a couple timeouts. Gonna pin him back here very deep. Good punt, Dom. Oh, just out the back. Hopefully they don't score here before half. Still in pretty good shape. We get a, we still have a full drive available for us. Yep, we hold. We're driving again. We score. We're in very good shape. Let's just keep moving. Oh yeah, we are kicking ass. We don't even need to play. A complete win. Gardner Minshew. If he doesn't win MVP for this year, I, I don't know if we'll ever get an MVP. Jaden Alexander. Yeah, baby. He might be not just the offensive rookie of the year. God, look at the sack numbers. Meebane's coming alive. Miles Jack might be looking at defensive player of the year. But yeah, Jaden Alexander might be best wide receiver and offensive rookie of the year. Like, this team has been just an absolute dominant force. And he's going to get an upgrade. I'm actually going to go route runner, try to keep him a little well balanced, not just a deep threat. We want him to be a fully rounded guy. He gets an agility boost too. That's great. You know, we've got DJ Chark in here to be that true deep threat. We'd love to get that uh, acceleration agility, the routes up a little bit. Just going to automate the rest of those guys. So we're eight and two. We have a two game lead in the division. No divisional games left. We've got Falcons, Browns, Ravens, Jets, Panthers, and Raiders for the rest of the season. So we're gonna get through the rest of this episode pretty damn quick. Barring some catastrophic collapse here, we should be in pretty good shape. I feel like a lot of our opponents have been really bad this year too, benefiting from an easy schedule. So advancing to week 13, we win a defensive struggle, 10 to nine, Minshew quiet this week. Very quiet. How'd the defense do? Ajalari, Brian Farrell gets in there. No picks. Good week. Do pick up our first injury of the season. Jermaine Waller. So that means we got to make a decision on corner. And for the storyline, I'm going to play Troy Apke at corner. Baker's technically better, but I, I think he's better as a slot guy at this point. I'm going to go ahead and play Troy Apke there. Starting two white corners. Find me the last time that happened in the NFL. So we do play the Browns this week, the team that's given us so much trouble in the playoffs. I do want to take a quick peek at our negotiations. Make sure we're not missing out on anything we want to wrap up here. Apke is going to have a chance to earn that contract. The wide receiver situation, I feel like we'll just re-sign one of those guys in the re-sign stage and let the other two go. Damian Lewis I do want to lock up because he is a stud. Uh, so paying that starting guard about $8 million per year. He wants a two-year contract, so it's about right. Could have given him a longer deal. But if he's asking for two, we'll give him two. So advancing against the Browns, this team's giving us trouble, but they do got to come to London. Oh, the offense showed up, but we lose 34-28. That Browns team has been our kryptonite. Hopefully we don't have to play them in the playoffs. That was an opportunity to kind of knock them out too. Baker went off. Minshew was eh. Meebane got another sack, though. Miles Jack got a pick. I would think Miles Jack's looking at Defensive Player of the Year. I like the idea of not spoiling the awards so that uh, we do get some surprise factor at the end. Miles Jack won Defensive Player of the Week. All right, now we got to play the 9 and 3 Ravens. So the Ravens have turned things around a little bit here. We lost 23 to 14. Struggling to find some consistency here at the end of the season. Don't like to see that. You want to enter the playoffs hot and healthy. Great week for Lamar Jackson. Minshew was fine. Defense just couldn't hold enough. Actually, I would put this week on our offense. Only 13 points. No sacks, no picks. Texans are breathing down our neck. A game back. We do have the tiebreaker. We swept the division this year. So that's obviously going to help. I would think one more win would pretty much clinch it. So we just need one out of three here. Let's not choke the season here, Jags. Mebane gets an upgrade. 
can get him over 70 or in a minute 80 range of power moves if he gets it here two power moves and a block shed that's a good upgrade he's having a great season in his first year as a starter all right we got the five and eight jets come on jags let's get one Jeez. 31 to 27 texans lost fortunately but we're having a hard time beating competent teams we've beaten up on our division we've beaten up on these lowly teams that keep losing games but we can't beat anyone with a relevant record alexander had a good week bryant seems to be catching touchdowns every week jonathan allen had a half sack no picks okay five and nine panthers crossing the pond short flight relatively speaking come on get a win there we go and we get that rest or start look so it looks like we've locked ourselves in but um, I'd like to get to 11 wins 11 wins feels much better than 10 and I, I feel like we don't have a lot of momentum Minshew didn't even do much this week did throw three touchdowns Bryant catches another touchdown. Alexander catches one defensively. Look at Apke. Apke gets a pick, getting the start at corner. Ajalari, a sack. Miles Jack, another pick. He's got to win defensive player of the year. He's got so many picks. But all right, Troy Apke. I see you. We pick up an injury. Oh, no. Chark. Three-week injury. Luckily, we're deep at that position. He will be back at some point in the playoffs, but that hurts. Alexander's going to have to really step up. Now, fortunately, we're incredibly deep at that position. So he's asking about... Oh, he's asking about resting Nick Chubb. And I accidentally hit agree. Chubb did get hurt <clears throat> down the stretch last year. But uh, I'm going to leave him in. We'll see what happens. I agree it's good to, you know, don't strain him too much if our playoff positioning isn't uh, too much in question. Uh, but we definitely still want to try to win this game. Let's see. We're, uh, where, where do we sit in the AFC? We're right in there. Three or four seed, depending how this plays out. They say we're locked in, but I don't really trust Madden. By the way, Troy Apke won Defensive Player of the Week. So uh, that conversion is playing out well for us all right the last game here of the regular season of the series Ooh, we lose we got to play the ravens in the first round offense showed up Minshew, chubb ended up playing a good bit alexander stepped up it was the defense though that let us down just one sack from ajalari excited to see his end of season total no picks definitely gonna have some pro bowlers and some big xp coming in gonna have a loaded team for our live stream when we do that but we do have one more episode to do we did make the playoffs that was a megalodon i hope you enjoyed i hope you made it all the way through if you did please do hit that like button guys uh, when we come back we'll break down the end of season stats we'll go through our upgrades we'll do the playoffs and that'll do it for this series it's been a blast this was a really fun episode to record i hope you enjoyed cheers guys we'll see you later